In the 3.3 livestream patch two new artifact sets got announced. One of those, the Chronicle set, is meant to be exclusively used by Wanderer, the new 5 stars unit that is about to come out. The other, the Paradise Lost set, is a dedicated set for all Bloom related teams. Most Bloom related teams are already at the very least in a decent spot when it came to reaction damage, and specifically, Hyperbloom teams are incredibly good low investment setups, so the elemental reactions themselves didn't really need more damage, especially since there already is a set that significantly buffed Bloom's damage output, which is the Gilded Dream set. In this video, I'll analyze how the new artifact set affects Bloom Reliant teams, to make you understand its pros and cons. First of all, you have to understand how transformative reactions damage is calculated. In fact, understanding how the general formula works is basically all you need to know to see how each specific transformative reaction works in terms of damage dealt, as it applies to all of them unequivocally. Each transformative reaction has its own reaction multiplier, which is basically a fixed value that determines how strong the reaction is at a base level. Think of it as you'd think of any attack in Genshin. There are reactions that do more damage than others, just like there are elemental bursts that have a higher multiplier than others. The reaction multiplier is the first parameter in the formula. The second is the level multiplier, and just like the reaction multiplier, every reaction has its own level multiplier, which adds to how strong the reaction is at a base level. Elemental reactions are also affected by resistance, which is regularly applied based on the typing of the reaction, just like all other attacks on Genshin. For example, reducing opponent's dendro resistance will increase your bloom damage. The last parameter is the one we can manipulate the most through character builds, and it's a combination of the EM bonus and the reaction bonus. The EM bonus is the result of a formula whose result depends on the amount of elemental mastery you have. The way this basic formula is structured, the positive impact elemental mastery has on the result constantly declines as the EM value increases. In simple terms, the smaller the relative difference between the numerator and the denominator, the smaller the impact of giving more elemental mastery to your character. This is what people generally call diminishing returns. For this reason, adding more elemental mastery is not always the best choice for character's damage, even in the case they rely on elemental reactions. The reaction bonus part of the formula is much easier to understand, as it's basically the sum of all the damage buffs to a specific reaction you have at a specific time. Think of the swirl reaction buff from the Viridescent Veneera set, or Nilo's buff to bloom damage from her passive. Don't confuse this with regular damage buffs such as elemental damage buffs from goblets, as they're completely unrelated. The buffs the new Paradise Lost set gives, fall under this category. Now that I've explained this, I can finally start to compare the Gilded set to Paradise Lost. If you've paid attention until now, you probably figured out that while Paradise Lost affects the reaction bonus, the Gilded set affects the EM bonus. However, as I said earlier, Elemental Mastery suffers from diminishing returns, which could negatively impact the Gilded set in the comparison. Let's see how the sets perform in terms of damage based on Bloom's Rupture reaction, at different base elemental mastery amounts. As you see, the significant EM buff given by the Gilded set works wonders at low EM amounts, but it starts falling off as you build more EM, and if you have 400 or more, Paradise Lost becomes consistently better than even Gilded with max EM stacks. Since as I said earlier, the only difference between different transformative reactions are the reaction and level multipliers, while the EM bonus formula isn't affected by it, these numbers count for all Bloom-related reactions. Since building more than 400 Elemental Mastery is extremely common on characters you want to proc reactions in Bloom teams, it seems obvious at this point that the Paradise Lost set is better than the Gilded set. The real answer, however, is that this is only partially true, and even if it is, the set might not be a big enough increase to warrant farming it if you already have a great Gilded set on your characters. First, let's take Nilo Bloom teams as an example. Whether you use a split Dendro slash Hydro lineup, or a 1 Dendro 3 Hydro lineup, it's hard to control reaction triggers on this team, as they're generally all over the place. 
all the units on this team are probably triggering blooms, which means that compared to hyperbloom teams, you can't just buff a specific reaction trigger and expect all of the team's reactions to benefit from that. For example, let's assume Kokomi is doing 30% of the total bloom damage on the team, and you equip her with Paradise Lost, which gives her a 7% increase to blooms over Gilded. That increase results in a somewhat insignificant 2% increase in terms of total bloom damage for the team. To achieve the 7% increase in terms of bloom team damage you might expect from the set, you would have to give the set to every character on the team, which is generally undoable. Considering that in bloom teams, the bloom team damage is nowhere near close to the total team damage either, that increase looks even smaller, relatively speaking. Now, let's see what happens for Hyper Bloom. As I said earlier, you can control who triggers Hyper Bloom and Burgeon, as they're always triggered by Electro or Pyro, respectively. For this reason, a 7% Hyper Bloom damage increase on one trigger, also results in a 7% Hyper Bloom team damage increase, if there is only one Electro character on the team. So in this situation, farming the set appears to be a bit more convenient. However, you also have to consider that on Hyper Bloom teams, you're generally also getting some Electrocharged procs, which are positively affected by the Gilded Dreams EM bonuses, so Paradise Lost is penalized by that. In the same way, on Burgeon teams you might get some Burning or Vaporize procs which are buffed by Gilded and not by Paradise Lost, which makes the latter a bit weaker in practice than it might seem in theory. In both cases, Paradise Lost is probably a damage increase regardless, but maybe it's less than you'd expect. Overall, I wouldn't farm the new artifact domain solely for the Paradise Lost set. If you pull for Wanderer, getting good Paradise Lost pieces while farming for the Chronicle set will be a nice bonus for you. Otherwise, the Gilded Dreams domain is just more valuable, as it also features the Deepwood set, which is used in every Bloom team. I'm done for today. Let me know what you thought about the video in the comments below, and if you liked it, put a thumbs up and subscribe. See you next time.